were having a weekend, a uh, Friday break, I think, and we all decided to go to the beach one day. He's a big surfer, and uh, there was a hurricane, which evidently is very exciting to people that surf. There happened to be a hurricane that was off, off the shore, so there were very, very big waves that day. And me being a surfer, that's when my eyes light up, and uh, I get very excited when there are big waves, and I've been pretty, I'm pretty experienced, I've been surfing for a long time, so I felt very comfortable in that type of situation. And uh, so a bunch of us, Dave got a bunch of us from school to go uh, to uh, this, to the ocean somewhere on Long Island to surf during this hurricane. And we went to a local beach close to where I grew up called Gilgo Beach. And uh, there were about, I'd say, six to ten of us hanging out on the beach just having a good time. And uh, I mean, I was, I'm a good swimmer, but just as a, never, I was never a swimmer on a swim team. And uh, I didn't have uh, the right equipment or the right flippers. And uh, Dave said, you know, don't even think about getting out there without fins. So that day I happened to have a few, I had a surfboard with me and I had a few boogie boards. And the waves were like, you know, eight feet waves. It was something pretty crazy. And he said, hey Dave, I'll meet you out there. And uh, so I ended up, um, you know, someone tells me I can't do something, that makes me try even harder. And Dan, growing up in Brooklyn, I don't think spent very much time at the beach, and um, but knew how to have a good time, and he saw the boogie board. And I did get through those waves on this little styrofoam board. So I paddle out, and it's definitely pretty big, and we're having a good time, and I'm surfing away. And next thing I know, I hear, hey Dave, and I look over, and there's Dan on his, on his boogie board paddling out. And then found myself pretty much trapped out there. No lifeguards, nothing. I was out really far. At that time, I had some shoulder impingement because I remember every time I was trying to paddle in, my shoulder was hurting a little bit. I kind of realized I was in a little bit of a, of a tough situation, uh, but I didn't realize just how tough it would get because uh, I was so far out, there were no more waves. I was like a half mile from shore. And just as he says, hey Dave, I look over and a big wave hits him and basically knocks him off of his boogie board. And the boogie board, the leash, broke off or wasn't attached to his wrist or something like that. And I lose Dan. Uh, because that wave just pummeled me. And if you've ever been hit by a wave, you know, it takes you under and it spins you like a dryer. It wasn't fun, it didn't push me forward, it just took me under. And, uh, and I got pretty scared, but I remember being under there saying, okay, stay calm. Uh, and I did. And then as soon as uh, I came back up, I got my board, which was right there, and I got hit by a second wave. I remember being under, spinning, spinning, and uh, then I finally, it finally let me up, barely had any breath left. I took the board one last time and then got hit with a third wave and I knew I was in danger. My life was in danger. I was out there by myself and, um, and really in trouble. I, you know, I came up, I got the board, and basically it was weird because I couldn't really yell help. I, I don't know why, I just didn't have that in me at the, at the time. I don't know if anyone would hear, but I got close enough to this one surfer guy. Uh, and if you know anything about surfers, they're very territorial. So this guy had um, uh, like all this. I remember he had like earrings all over his face and everything. And he's out there. He's looking at me. I, I actually swam over to his board. So if you could picture out in the middle of the ocean, and this guy, serious surfer, is, is like on his board. And I put one arm on the board because I, I didn't even have a surfboard at that time. And I'm all the way out there. And I was just like, hey dude, can I just uh, rest on your board for a second? He just thought it was insane and crazy. And uh, I pretty much was because I was out there in the first place. Anyway, then um, finally, I, Dave sees me. So in paddling over, I see that Dan had found a, uh, another young surfer who was sitting on his board and Dan was holding on to the edge of it and the kid was looking at him as if, uh, get off my board, you know, let me surf and uh, so I paddled over to Dan and I got off my board and I gave him my surfboard and I said, Dan, jump on the board and don't let go. If you see a wave, don't try and stand, just hold on to the board and try and get it. And he's like, what the heck are you doing out here without a board or anything? And I was like, lost it, it's a long story, I don't even know what I'm doing out here. He said, here, take my board, and I'll swim in. And Dave was a lifeguard, triathlete type of person, so, you know, he, he said, he swam to shore, and he said it was the toughest swim of his life. Wow. It was that bad. And, uh, 
and I started to, uh, to paddle in. I rested for a while, and then now I had a real surfboard so it wouldn't just fall out of my hands like the styrofoam thing I had. Um, but the waves were so strong that the second wave that came that I tried to, that I tried to like just body surf in, the board got ripped out of my hands. It was that violent. So I knew at that moment that I had to just save my life, and I just swam as, as fast as I could, as hard as I could. Um, in the middle of this, by the time Dave gets to shore, um, he tells me, or by the time Dave gets to shore, the surfboard had hit him in the back of the leg. And he turned around, like he was just like, where is Dan? He looked, he did not see me, so he did not know what was going on. Um, and I was really swimming for my life. I finally got in uh, and, and remember feeling like every muscle in my body was like ready to pop out of my chest. And, and I just collapsed on the sand and I was safe, I was alive. And so that's, that's how Dave saved my life and uh, kind of almost caused it to end by, by uh, suggesting I go surfing in a uh, hurricane. So that's my story.